Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into A Handbook for New Stoics, a 2019 publication that serves as a comprehensive guide for those looking to understand and apply Stoicism in their lives. This book provides an insightful introduction to the philosophy, accompanied by structured exercises designed to facilitate progression from a novice to an adept practitioner of Stoicism. Co-authored by Massimo Pigliucci, a professor of philosophy at New York's City College and a practicing Stoic himself, alongside Gregory Lopez, founder of the New York City Stoics Meetup, this book offers readers an opportunity to engage directly with Stoic principles. Pigliucci's academic credentials, coupled with his active role in promoting Stoic philosophy, lay a solid foundation for this guide. Lopez, with his leadership in Stoic community building and editorial expertise, contributes a practical approach to applying Stoicism in daily life. A handbook for new Stoics is ideal for anyone curious about the Stoic way of life, individuals seeking resilience amidst life's adversities, and those aspiring to lead a virtuous life. Whether you are new to the concept or looking to deepen your practice, this book offers valuable insights into making Stoicism a practical part of your everyday life. Join us as we explore how to navigate the challenges of life with wisdom, fortitude, and serenity, guided by the teachings of one of the most enduring philosophies of the Western world. A Handbook for New Stoics How to Thrive in a World Out of Your Control Introduction Unlock the Power of Stoicism for a Fulfilling Life Stoicism is an ancient philosophy originating from Greece that has traversed through millennia, not as an artifact, but as a guide to living a life of profound significance and calm. It has endured the test of time, brushing off misconceptions and criticisms like dust from its shoulders, proving it's more than just an admonition to keep a stiff upper lip. This venerable philosophy provides a robust scaffold for those who seek not just to exist, but to thrive with virtue and peace at the helm of their lives. It champions the use of reason and logic, offering insightful strategies to deftly navigate the treacherous waters of social intricacies and to consistently lean towards virtuous decisions. In an era awash with the allure of fleeting pleasures and distractions, Stoicism stands as a lighthouse, guiding us back to a course marked by depth and fulfillment. The wisdom of Stoicism isn't just a relic of the past, it's profoundly relevant today, offering insights into achieving genuine happiness. It emphasizes that joy comes not from external acquisitions or accolades, but from mastering the art of contentment with what we have and who we are. Moreover, Stoicism and journaling go hand in hand like two peas in a pod. Journaling is not just a tool for self-expression, but a stoic exercise for introspection, allowing individuals to reflect on their actions, thoughts, and emotions, thus fostering a deeper understanding of themselves and their place in the world. Lastly, exploring the connections between stoicism and mindfulness reveals both share the essence of being present and aware. Mindfulness, much like stoicism, encourages an intimate engagement with the current moment, free from the distractions of past regrets or future anxieties. It's about cultivating a mindset where peace can flourish, regardless of the external chaos. In delving into Stoicism, we find a path not just towards happiness, but towards a meaningful existence, characterized by virtue, serenity, and a profound connection with the present moment. Part 1. Discovering True Happiness through the time-tested wisdom of Stoicism. Everyone is on a quest for happiness, a pursuit that has occupied the minds of humans for as long as history can record. Philosophers, scholars, and thinkers have dedicated their lives to unraveling the mysteries of joy and how to safeguard against misery. Amidst various theories and schools of thought, Stoicism emerges as a beacon of clarity, offering potent insights into attaining happiness. At the heart of this discussion lies a compelling proposition. 
Stoicism is a powerful ally in the quest for happiness. Originating around 300 BCE, the relevance of Stoicism has not waned with the passing of centuries. Instead, its core principles echo through time, resonating with contemporary approaches to mental wellness, such as cognitive behavioral therapy. This ancient philosophy provides a clear, actionable framework that focuses on mastering control over one's internal state, rather than being swayed by external circumstances. Central to Stoicism is the wisdom of distinguishing between what is within our control and what isn't. Much of our discontent springs from fixating on factors beyond our reach, be it the judgment of others, unforeseen delays, weather changes, illnesses, or economic shifts. Imagine a life where happiness isn't tethered to the whims of fortune, but rooted in aspects we can influence. Stoicism invites us to embrace this perspective, liberating us from the shackles of external dependencies. Delving deeper into Stoicism reveals its comprehensive structure, constructed upon three fundamental pillars, ethics, physics, and logic. These components are intricately woven, each playing a crucial role in the Stoic vision of a fulfilled life. Ethics guides us towards the ideal way of living, necessitating an understanding of physics, or the nature of the universe and our place within it. This insight into natural and human phenomena underscores the importance of reason and logic, which are instrumental in navigating life's challenges and aligning with our highest aspirations. Stoicism posits that aligning our lives with the natural order and exercising our inherent capacity for reason paves the way toward tranquility. It encourages a profound examination of human nature, including those instincts and patterns that might hinder our happiness. In embracing the wisdom of Stoicism, we equip ourselves with a philosophical compass that directs us towards a serene, content, and truly happy existence. Part 2 Embarking on the Stoic Path, Mastering the Discipline of Desire Within the pages of A Handbook for New Stoics, readers are introduced to a year-long journey of self-improvement and philosophical exploration through 52 meticulously designed exercises. For those just dipping their toes in the Stoic philosophy or considering a deeper dive, the authors recommend nine initial exercises as a litmus test for one's affinity towards Stoicism. These exercises are neatly categorized into three fundamental disciplines, the discipline of desire, the discipline of action, and the discipline of assent, composing the triad of Stoic practice aimed at enriching one's character. The pivotal message to glean here is that the journey of cultivating Stoicism is tripartite, beginning with the discipline of desire. At the core of these disciplines lies the dichotomy of control, a tenet that aids in discerning between the aspects of life we can influence and those we cannot. This concept mirrors the essence of the widely recognized serenity prayer and is a thread woven through various religions such as Buddhism and Christianity and philosophies like Stoicism. The initial step is to acquaint oneself with the realms of our control. Contrary to what one might assume, the dominion of our complete control is quite minimal. Epictetus, one of the ancient Stoic luminaries whose teachings have transcended time, pinpointed just three arenas under our absolute control, our thoughts, impulses, and the will to seek or avoid. However, a closer inspection is warranted to truly comprehend what Epictetus meant, considering the linguistic and conceptual evolution over centuries. Epictetus didn't imply an absolute reign over the thoughts that cross our minds or the impulses that wash over us. Instead, his emphasis was on the control we exert over the judgments attached to our thoughts and our decisions to act upon our impulses. Take, for instance, the inevitable impulse of hunger. While the impulse itself is beyond our control, the decisions regarding if, when, and what we choose to eat rest firmly in our hands. Similarly, upon encountering someone, our initial thought might be dismissive or critical but the power resides within us to either entertain or dismiss such judgments. Thus, thought in Epictetus's discourse can be more accurately understood as judgment, highlighting our sovereignty over our interpretations and reactions rather than the involuntary thoughts and impulses themselves. Part 3. 
channel your efforts toward building strong character. The essence of human nature hasn't drastically changed since 300 BCE. Our fundamental desires for pleasure, companionship, and the avoidance of discomfort still drive much of our behavior today. The discipline of desire, a crucial aspect of Stoicism, is about honing one's ability to resist or temper desires that do not contribute to the formation of a virtuous character. At the crux of Stoic practice is the understanding that our character, the culmination of our choices and actions, is entirely within our control. This principle empowers us to resist temptations and make decisions grounded in reason and personal values, despite external influences such as targeted advertising or the opinions of peers and family. After all, when it comes down to it, the choice is ours. The central takeaway here is, make character the focal point of your controlled aspects. The journey begins with identifying what's within our grasp and what's beyond it. And the next step is to reorient our focus accordingly. Can we learn to detach our peace of mind from external outcomes and instead concentrate on internal dimensions, like how we allocate our time or face life's adversities? Imagine the amount of energy we expend fretting over things beyond our control. Shifting the focus to character offers a liberating perspective. I've done my utmost. The end result is beyond my reach but my contentment doesn't have to be because I've acted with integrity and effort. This perspective extends to areas like health. Epictetus reminds us not to be unduly troubled by sickness, death, or financial hardship. While we can adopt lifestyles that promote wellness and security, factors beyond our control may still lead to illness or financial strain. Worrying about such eventualities only detracts from our peace of mind. Elsewhere, consider a workplace evaluation. Instead of pinning all our hopes and happiness on the review's outcome, a stoic perspective would advise us to concentrate on performing to the best of our abilities. This approach offers a foundation for genuine contentment, independent of external validation or circumstances. Part 4. Embracing Transience. A Path to Equanimity and Joy. One of the more profound exercises within the discipline of desire centers on grappling with the concept of impermanence. Deep down, there's a quiet acknowledgement in each of us about the fleeting nature of life and everything in it. Yet, it's a truth we often sideline. For the Stoic philosophers like Epictetus and the Roman emperor Marcus Aurelius, acknowledging the transient nature of life wasn't a mere philosophical exercise. It was a daily reality. With Aurelius, for instance, the personal loss of most of his children and the devastation of a plague that claimed millions under his reign underscored life's fragility. This understanding wasn't about pessimism, but about preparing oneself for the inevitable ebbs and flows of existence. The essence of this lesson is, remember the fleeting nature of life, possessions, and conditions. Detractors might argue that Stoicism's call to remember impermanence is a path towards detachment and dispassion, painting Stoics as devoid of joy or devoid of human warmth. However, this misinterprets Stoicism's intent. The question thus arises, is it wiser to live in denial of life's transitory nature or to embrace it, prepared for whatever moment might unfold next? Stoicism cherishes equanimity, a serene, balanced state of mind amidst life's turbulence which is distinctly different from heartlessness. Seeking equanimity is about cultivating calm and collectedness, surely a state many of us yearn for. And let's broaden the lens. Impermanence isn't solely about the comings and goings of life. It's an all-encompassing principle that applies to our possessions, our status, and every circumstance we find ourselves in. Frustration that arises from a malfunctioning computer or a dip in the stock market is perhaps misplaced. Adopting a stoic perspective, we realize that everything is transient, and in that transience, there is a call to appreciate the present and face adversities with resilience, knowing they too shall pass. The road to accepting impermanence is undoubtedly challenging, urging us to gradually broaden our acceptance from minor inconveniences to the grand scheme of life. 
starting with something as ubiquitous as a car breakdown, stoicism encourages a rational response. Recognize its inevitability and instead of succumbing to agitation, muster gratitude for the journeys it has enabled. Such is the stoic approach to life, a blend of gratitude for the present and preparedness for the future, cultivating an enduring joy and resilience amid the inevitable cycles of change. Part 5. Navigating life with the discipline of action. Treading beyond the discipline of desire, we embark on the journey of the discipline of action. If the former teaches us the art of focusing on elements within our control, the latter shifts our attention towards our responses to life's inevitable challenges, steering us towards virtuous actions and reactions. The crux of this discipline is, preparation is key in the discipline of action. Living a life rooted in virtue, as advocated by Stoicism, entails living in consonance with nature. This harmony manifests as equanimity, a state devoid of anger and agitation. Achieving such balance is undoubtedly a challenge, requiring relentless dedication and practice. A pivotal aspect of this practice involves acclimatizing oneself to the probable obstacles one may face, underscored by a deep understanding of human nature. Taking advice from Epictetus, consider the analogy of visiting Roman bathhouses. Anticipating the presence of individuals who might engage in annoying, disparaging, or even thievish behavior primes you for potential disturbances. Such anticipation paves the way for mental preparation, reducing the likelihood of impulsive reactions that might lead to regret. This principle of preparedness can be extended to everyday interactions where the possibility of encountering difficult individuals is high. Marcus Aurelius, through his meditations, reminds us that our daily encounters are likely to include individuals driven by selfishness, jealousy, deceit, and aggression. He suggests a proactive stance. Remind yourself each morning that you will undoubtedly cross paths with such individuals. Aurelius posits, that being perturbed by the invariable nature of people is unwise, advocating instead for a Stoic's harmonious acceptance of human nature as it is. This doesn't mean endorsing or condoning negative behaviors, but rather acknowledging them as part of the complex tapestry of human interactions. By expecting these challenges and character types, we arm ourselves with the mental fortitude to maintain our composure and adhere to a path of virtue, regardless of the provocations we may face. This alignment with nature and the anticipation of human behavior within it is a cornerstone of the discipline of action, guiding us towards a life of principled stability and peace. Part 6. Embrace Reflection. The Stoic Power of Journaling. In the intricate tapestry of Stoic practices, Journaling emerges as a versatile and transformative exercise, transcending the bounds of the discipline of action to enrich all facets of Stoic living. Recognized not only within philosophical circles, but also endorsed by modern mental health experts, the act of daily reflection through journaling serves as a vital catalyst for personal growth and tranquility. The essence of this practice is clear. Journaling is a quintessential element in forging a Stoic mindset, Drawing inspiration from one of Stoicism's most revered texts, Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, we find a compelling testament to journaling's profound impact. Meditations, essentially a compilation of Aurelius's personal reflections, offers an intimate glimpse into his journey towards virtue and self-improvement. This historical example underscores the significance of journaling as a means to navigate the complexities of life while striving for philosophical ideals. Marcus Aurelius's candid self-assessment. Within these pages serves as a reminder that perfection is unattainable and the pursuit of Stoicism is an ongoing process. Regular introspection provides a structured platform to evaluate progress, identify challenges, and reinforce commitments to Stoic principles. Seneca, another pivotal figure in Stoicism, espoused nightly self-reflection as a pathway to untroubled sleep and mental clarity. 
This practice of winding down by examining the day's events, decisions, and interactions can alleviate the mind's tendency to ruminate, setting the stage for restorative rest. The authors of modern Stoic guides encourage journaling as an invaluable tool for beginners and seasoned practitioners alike, offering a structured approach to internalize and apply Stoic teachings. Reflecting on daily encounters, especially those that tested your Stoic resolve, fosters a deeper understanding of personal control spheres. For instance, analyzing a taxing interaction can elucidate elements within your control, like your reactions and preparations for similar future incidents, versus those beyond it, such as others' behavior. Journaling, therefore, is not merely a record of events. It's an active engagement with Stoic philosophy, a rehearsal of responses to life's unpredictability, and a reflection on the transient nature of existence. It invites a thoughtful examination of expectations, disappointments, and personal growth opportunities, solidifying the stoic aim of living a virtuous, composed life amidst the undulating seas of fortune. Part 7. Navigating Life with Mindfulness, the Discipline of Ascent After journeying through the discipline of desire and the discipline of action, we venture into the most nuanced realm of Stoicism, the discipline of ascent, a terrain that demands a higher level of self-awareness and mental agility. Recall that Epictetus outlined three elements within our complete command, our thoughts, impulses, and our choices regarding what to pursue and what to avoid. The first two disciplines have us mastering our desires and actions. Now, in the discipline of ascent, the focus shifts to our thoughts, more specifically, to the immediate judgments that spring to mind, those snap assessments that often lead us astray. The cornerstone of this discipline is clear. Mastery begins by catching and then critically examining our initial impressions. Our everyday lives are filled with moments where our first impressions are off the mark. Consider the countless instances when our initial take on a person dramatically changed upon getting to know them, or when our dread for an event dissipated after we actually experienced it. Of course, not every surprise is a pleasant one, but the lesson remains the same. Appearances, as the adage affirms, can indeed be deceptive. The exercise here instructs us to be vigilant, to catch those fleeting moments when judgmental thoughts emerge unbidden. Epictetus offers a mantra for these instances, advising, Confront every harsh impression with the words, You are but an impression, and not at all what you seem to be. Echoing this ancient guidance, modern advocates encourage voicing these words out loud when alone, acting as a circuit breaker to halt the cascade of premature judgments. This practice aims to foster a more deliberative and mindful approach to decision making issuing snap judgments in favor of reasoned, well-considered actions. But pausing is just the beginning. To deepen the practice, challenge these initial impressions, question their origins and scrutinize their validity. Why did this thought arise? What assumptions underlie it? This introspective inquiry doesn't merely dampen the influence of errant judgments. It paves the way for a holistic integration of Stoic disciplines, as we shall explore in concluding our journey through Stoicism. Part 8. Embrace the Stoic Journey, a life of continuous growth and virtue. It's a common misconception that Stoicism demands perfection from its practitioners, but even the ancient Stoics themselves were candid about their human imperfections. Thus, if moments arise where anger clouds your judgment, despite your efforts to live by Stoic principles, remember that this philosophy embraces growth rather than flawlessness. Stoicism serves as a beacon, guiding us towards learning from our missteps and cultivating a discipline that nurtures equanimity, emotional stability and serenity, and possibly a deeper happiness. It's about forging resilience in the face of life's inevitable messiness, especially in our interactions with others. Ultimately, Stoicism is a transformative process aimed at enhancing our character and leading us towards a more virtuous existence. The vital lesson here is, the essence of Stoicism lies in incorporating its teachings into the fabric of our daily lives.
When wrestling with the dichotomy of desire and aversion, a helpful Stoic question to ask might be, how can this situation serve to refine my character? The Stoic ethos revolves around the acknowledgement that we are all perpetual works in progress, and it equips us with practical tools, mantras, and introspective questions to guide our decisions towards virtue and character improvement. This ongoing pursuit of virtue and self-betterment aligns with the principles of cognitive behavioral therapy, evidenced by ample scientific research supporting the efficacy of habit formation in character development. Our exploration of Stoicism may only scratch the surface, but it sets the stage for a lifelong journey of philosophical discovery and personal growth. One powerful practice for internalizing Stoic principles is nightly reflection, a time to examine the day's events and our reactions through a Stoic lens. Another complementary practice is daily meditation, particularly mindfulness meditation, which echoes Stoic values by anchoring us in the present moment. Stoics and mindfulness practitioners alike cherish the present as the pinnacle of our control and influence. The past is immutable and the future remains beyond our grasp, but the present is ripe with opportunities for self-improvement and to positively impact those around us. Choosing these opportunities over fleeting pleasures positions us firmly on the Stoic path, navigating life with wisdom, virtue, and a tranquil heart. Final Summary Stoicism, a philosophy with roots deep in ancient history, continues to offer profound insights for contemporary life. Its endurance through the ages speaks to its significance and applicability, regardless of the era. At the core of Stoicism are three pivotal concepts that intertwine to form a robust framework for a fulfilling life. Firstly, Stoicism teaches the importance of living in harmony with nature. This principle isn't merely about environmental consciousness, but about aligning our lives with the natural order of things and recognizing our place within the cosmos. It encourages us to live according to virtues and rationality, echoing the inherent logic of the natural world. Secondly, the dichotomy of control is a fundamental Stoic doctrine that distinguishes between what is within our control and what is not. It encourages us to focus our energy on our own actions, responses, and attitudes while accepting the external events that we cannot influence. This perspective fosters resilience, reducing unnecessary distress over uncontrollable aspects of life. Lastly, Stoicism is characterized by a three-part discipline that guides practitioners in how to think, act, and reflect to achieve a virtuous, and peaceful life. The discipline of desire focuses on understanding and managing our desires and aversions, emphasizing the critical distinction between needs that are within our control versus those that are not. The discipline of action teaches the importance of acting in a manner that is consistent with social virtue and personal integrity, even in the face of adversity. The discipline of assent the most advanced of the disciplines, challenges us to refine our judgments, to discern more wisely, and to fully assimilate Stoic principles into our being. Through these disciplines, Stoicism offers a comprehensive approach to navigating life's complexities, advocating for a mindset that embraces growth, self-awareness, and equanimity. It's a testament to the timeless nature of Stoic wisdom that, even today, we can draw profound lessons on virtue, control, and harmony from this ancient philosophy. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, Please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.